So you just received your new Luxord 2, the intelligent light engineered to maximize the human eye's full range of vision. Let's check it out. We made Luxor 2 comfortable to hold. Touch on the aluminum body and see how it was engineered for maximum durability. Its aluminum head acts like a heat sink so the LEDs run cooler, brighter, more efficiently, and promotes longer life. Let's start by reviewing the soft touch buttons and the OLED display on your Luxor 2. On the front side of your Luxor is the power button, left and right buttons. On the back of your Luxor is the mode button. Hold down the mode button and then press the power button to toggle through the intelligent displays. You can monitor your battery life, time remaining, focus angle, light output, and much more through its integrated OLED display. Now let's learn a few basic features. Out of the box, your Luxor has three active modes, autofocus, virtual focus, and beam flood lantern. In autofocus mode, the flashlight thinks for you. Just point and Luxor automatically adapts to deliver perfect light in any situation. Point Luxor straight down for a flood lantern. Point it straight in front of you for a flood beam. Point it slightly up at something further away for a greater throw. Point it straight up for an instant lantern. To increase and decrease light intensity, simply use the left and right buttons. To change modes, just press the mode button. You can see what mode you are in on the OLED display. In virtual focus mode, you can adjust light with the twist of your wrist. Press and hold mode and simply turn your wrist. Luxor will adjust from a 270 degree flood to a 12 degree beam. You can also press and hold the mode button and press the left or right buttons. The last mode, Beam Flood Lantern turns all LEDs on, giving you all 850 lumens. In all modes, you can use the left and right buttons. For strobe, it adjusts the speed. For all other modes, it increases and decreases the light's intensity. Double tap the right button to jump to the maximum intensity for that mode. Luxor can charge any device, such as your smartphone or tablet. To use the reverse charge feature, simply hold down the power button until you hear a click and plug in your device. When you are finished, you can turn the power off and the flashlight will automatically return to standard mode. Luxor charges via micro USB from any USB port. Change out the cap to make Luxor dust and waterproof. Be sure to properly align the caps to avoid any damage to the charge port. To use the safety lock feature, Press and hold the power and mode buttons until the display reads locked. Now you can safely store your flashlight without worrying about draining your battery. Let's learn some more advanced features of your Luxor 2. Luxor 2 has a total of five light modes. You can customize which modes you want to remain active. Hold down the left and right buttons at the same time. Then use the left and right buttons to scroll between light modes. Autofocus will not appear because it will always remain active. Use the mode button to toggle the light operations on and off. In this demonstration, we are going to make all of the modes active and press the power button to exit. Simply press the mode button to see that all modes are active. We have already covered autofocus, virtual focus, and beam flood lantern. Let's check out the remaining two modes. The strobe feature is a great tool in an emergency, self-defense, and it can be a fun light effect. Use the left and right buttons to adjust the rate of the strobe speed. Now let's change modes to a beam flood. The beam flood mode is the most basic flashlight setting. You can adjust your light intensity using the left and right buttons. If you would like to completely reset your Luxor to factory defaults, hold the mode, left, and right buttons down at the same time. Next, be sure to charge your battery at least eight hours to calibrate your flashlight. So you should be all set and ready to use your Luxor 2. You can download the full manual by clicking the link on the screen. And if you still need help, contact our support team. Please leave us your comment below and subscribe to our channel to stay plugged in. Thank you so much for watching and helping us bring the future.